Hey, how we doing? Ross here from Cricket Strength. We've just had a few questions in uh, about some of the videos and the recovery and asking when we do the recovery. Now for me, the ideal time for most recovery isn't straight away after the game. It's going to be the next morning. So there's obviously stuff you can do straight away. So make sure once you come off, you can do things like contrast baths. We don't do ice baths, we do cool and warm baths. Uh, we find that has a great effect and good at flushing through the, uh, getting rid of lactic acid and some of the stiffness. Obviously also we want to get your nutrition right, <clears throat> get all your nutrients on board, uh, make sure you get your hydration right. If you've got access to a masseuse, get a little light massage, but straight after the game, that's probably the only things we'd look to do. And then after that, the next, so the next morning, that's when we really want to hit some uh, soft tissue work, get into the areas that got particularly tight. We normally find a sort of thoracic region, the pecs, uh, the hip flexors, all those regions are really tight. So then we use the therapy balls, things like that, get stuck into them. And we also get into mobility then uh, and look at the movement patterns. So if any patterns are slightly disintegrated or some dysfunction going on, we'll get stuck into them, make sure we're moving right, and then we can recover really well. Keep hydrated, keep nutrition going good all the time. And this is basically because straight after the game, you know, there's still a lot of emotion going, a lot of adrenaline going through the body. We want to give the central nervous system a little chance to calm down. And, and the next morning, after you've had a good sleep, hopefully, we're in a lot better position to get the soft tissue done.